We've got a Tascam 244 mixer strip here. Let's pry apart the fader here to get it clean. So I want some kind of thin needle nose pliers here. And you see that the plate in the back is held on these metal tabs. So if I kind of grip it like so, I can pull it away a little bit. And then I can see how I've sort of straightened that. And if I repeat that process with all the tabs, it's trickier to get these ones. In fact, what we may need to do is just use that, pull it open that way, and then we'll probably need to. I think, sorry, I've been just reminding myself it's maybe been a couple of months since I did this. I think probably what we'll need to do is, um, you can see, not by me, but the two screws that hold that against this metal plate have been removed. Um, removed these washers, and that way we can kind of bend a little bit forward there. And that allows allow us to bend these little tabs straight and reattach that. But you can see I was able to just pull that back. And... Look how much crud is collected on these little brushes. And I mean, you could see that there's quite a lot of muck on the carbon plate there. You can see there's muck inside there. And all of these things can result in cutouts, crackle, and so on. Much as we did with the pots, get some contact cleaner in there, along there. And you could use a um, normal Q tip or just like a rolled up bit of um, that's kitchen roll that I've got there. This is intended for a printer, cleaning and printer nozzles. It's a foam Q-tip. That's about the right size to get in here, but you could use something else. I mean, there's a quite a bit of fluff and gunk in there. There's a big old lump of lint there. I'm not sure where it went. I'll move this up here. All the, yeah, I mean, all that was inside the, was inside the fader. And then, as you can imagine, that's not great for an electrical signal. This part will come out altogether, and I mean, you can end up with a lot of dirt just at the top there. So, depending how dirty your fader is and it can be worth just completely removing this and getting some of the grime off there this little brass part I say brass I don't really know it might be copper it might be some other metal but that will come off there so you can just put them in a bit of tissue put some contact cleaner on them give them a wipe if any of these bits are bent, bend them back into place. You can see that it's not symmetrical. There's a gap on one side, so that's the side that goes onto. This doesn't serve any electrical purpose. This is really a, a, a spring to stop there being too much give against the top of the fader that way or against the side of the fader that way. I think this is just to, um, I guess that's a, to reduce the friction. Then you just slide it back in there. I don't think it hugely matters, but I usually have, you know, that's up on the fader, so I would have the brush bits pointing down the way. I'm now satisfied that I've got the worst of the dirt out from in here. I've run a little bit of deoxid fader lube along this plate. The problem I've got now is, although I was able to straighten these tabs with the needle nose pliers, these ones are still bent, making it hard to put that plate back in, and I can't really get at it from here. So what we can do is remove this front plate. Um, previous owners already partly disassembled this unit, and these screws here have been removed, but I need to get these washers off the top of the potentiometers. So I can just loosen them with pliers 
and take them off by hand. Notice that there's two sizes, this pan knob and the gain knob are slightly different to the auxiliary and EQ potentiometers which are all the same double type. There's a washer there as well. The washer's kind of stuck there with grime. It'll come off in a minute when I pull that off. Oh, I forgot there's a screw here that screws into this switch. It's the tape line in off switch from the top of the channel. So that's of the same kind that we use to attach transport to the chassis, etc. It's a bit longer though. Right, that then slides off. You can see those washers have come off now. There's a little plastic spacer between that metal plate and there. There's places where these spacers are really important. I would say that they're not so important there. I will try and put it back. But at that point, push down that transistor in there, bend down this capacitor. So the plate's sitting in all these tabs now. I can kind of close it flush and if I grab it, so basically that part of the screwdriver is pushing on that edge and then against that tab, kind of squeeze it shut like that. As you do this, you want to be checking that the fader feels all right. It's possible to tighten these more than they were originally. And that can mean you know, it gets stuck. Then you'll have to loosen it off and close it again. So it feels kind of smooth all the way up. I mean, if you do have a soldering iron, then it's worth just um, soldering these two points here. And you've got one, two, three tabs here. It's easier to do, I just wanted to demonstrate that if you don't have a soldering iron then it's possible. But to be honest it's a bit of a false economy. Okay, so that's all shut up again. I'm happy with how that feels, it feels a little smoother than it did before I got all that grit out of there. So, I can put this front plate back on. In terms of getting that plastic spacer back in here, if you have that screw dangling half in, half out, and put the spacer over it, like so, you put, oh, fo focus is working against me there, but okay, so that's lined up, and then you can screw that back in, the, yeah, so you can see there's a smaller and a larger type, that corresponds to the smaller of the little nuts, little nuts. Finger tight's probably good enough. You could give that just an extra turn with needle nose pliers or whatever. And then I'll find some screws to put in there. There we go. So, assuming that there's nothing actually electrically wrong with that, that channel strip has now been refurbished. Well, cleaned anyway. Maybe refurbished is a bit of a grandiose term. 